And one of the biggest things when people have heart attacks, one of the biggest complaints, one of the biggest concerns that people have, is they didn't see it coming. It came out of the blue. They didn't know it was going to happen. And yet when we track it back with the new insight I had, I start asking questions and found out that heart disease leaves a trail so blatantly obvious. Every single person I spoke to experienced most of these symptoms. And some of them experienced all of them. Just before a heart attack comes little warning bursts from the heart. Maybe it's a flutter, feel your heart do this. Or a short stab that goes into your chest, it lasts a fraction of a second. That's your heart saying, if you don't change now, you're going to have a heart attack. Everybody gets that who has a heart attack. Prior to this, the usual things, hypertension, diabetes, things like this, medical conditions that we all know about, the doctors will tell you. But prior to this, this is the big one, <coughs> people will feel stuck. And it's a feeling, it's a belief up here, they'll feel stuck in a job or relationship that they don't love. They've got bills to pay. They've got family to feed. They've got a house. The hassle of breaking up would be too much. And people stay stuck in these relationships and jobs. Before that is what we call a midlife crisis. This lack of purpose, this feeling of emptiness, this not knowing what life has to offer. You come through this, this crisis. What is life? Well, what's it all about? What's the purpose of it? Prior to this, low motivation, high stress. One or the other, sometimes both. <coughs> and right back here, near the beginning, is you'll have a really poor relationship with at least one close family member. But right at the root, if you want to know if someone's at risk of heart disease, right at the very beginning, Get them to look in the mirror. And if the person looking back at you, if you don't love that person at least as much as the person you love the most in the world, then you've got heart disease. Because you love someone else more than yourself. Now some will argue that that's a good thing. But usually it's not just one person, it's lots of people. And we put ourselves way down in the pecking order. And the relationship with ourselves is the most important one.